this morning. Firefighters are at the scene of a house fire on Marlin Drive in southeast Columbus. The call came in right around 4 o'clock this morning. 10 TV's Kara Lake is live on the scene of this fire right now, and we just got some breaking news details, Kara. Yeah, we did. We just learned that there has been a casualty in this fire that was just confirmed from the fire crews here. Now, when I arrived on this scene, very emotional because there were a ton of neighbors out here just looking to this house that you could see was on fire. And just right after I got here, there was someone walking to he walking to the house screaming, where's my dad? Where's my dad? Now, we confirmed earlier this morning that crews, when they first arrived, they believe two people were in the home, a daughter and a father. Now, I just want to show you the house and what it looks like now behind me. Now we did confirm that the daughter she was not staying here overnight, but that her father was now. Like I said, we just confirmed that there was a casualty in this fire and we're lurking, working to learn more information about that. But as you can see, plenty of smoke still coming from this house. We did learn that the second floor of this home, it did collapse and we're just now trying to figure out what happened. The fire investigation team is here and as I look around the houses here. I can see one, two, three, four, five, five fire trucks on the scene. And this is just from what I see. This emergency crews, they all wrap around the front of the home as well. What you're looking at is the back of the home. The walls are completely gone. I see no windows, just a lot of what remains from what looks like a horrible fire. Now we will be here all morning working to learn what happened. Hopefully talk to neighbors around the area right now. Just very somber and of course like i said i just heard someone screaming where's my dad where's my dad so a lot of questions still remain but we'll be here all morning you can follow the story on 10tv.com and also i'll be here throughout the morning reporting live kira lake 10 tv news and kira we know the investigation now into this deadly fire is just beginning we appreciate the update